Good morning, children. This is my fifth video of class eight. Hope you have enjoyed all the four videos that you have seen already. Okay. Now, last class we have seen about the noun phrase indicators. I hope you have understood how to identify a noun phrase. Okay. And now let us see the order of adjectives. So usually whenever we have two or more adjectives to describe a noun, we take care of the word order. There is a certain order that we have to see the position of the adjectives and how it is closely related to the noun. So that way we have to arrange the adjectives. So there is a order for the adjectives. The first one is the determiners that is articles, demonstrative or possessives and the second order is that we have to write the quality and then comes the quantity the quantity means the number and the size of it or age okay then comes the color or origin origin means how it started when okay and how it is and all that and then past participle then material and then noun so this is the order that we have to follow and keeping in view this order let us complete the next exercise in your textbook so now complete the sentences with noun phrases using the words given in brackets now look at here i bought dash here beautiful a umbrella red is given so you have to now put these adjectives into the correct order so first of all what is the first order that we have to follow we have to write the determiners so in that articles now what is the article here a so first of all we have to write a next comes the quality so here any quality how the how it is the quality is mentioned so how is the umbrella beautiful so after a you have to write beautiful then you have to see the color then red okay a beautiful red and what is the noun here umbrella a beautiful red umbrella so you have to write in this way i bought a beautiful red umbrella is it clear children now look at the next one we saw dash in the zoo so here once again first we have to start with the article a is given and then what is here the quantity so quantity is given here couple couple is the number you know couple of couple of means two a couple means it's the number two so after a we should write couple of because it tells us about the quantity a couple of and what is it baby how is it so the age is it's a baby so baby comes then comes what is it the noun what is the noun here elephants so we saw a couple of baby elephants understood now the third one our grandfather lives in now again start with an article a okay then what is the quality here it is mentioned the size is mentioned quality is not given it is mentioned the size is mentioned big so a big next what is it how is it the origin stone built okay then a big stone built and the noun is house so it comes as a big stone built house okay so next one ramya has again what is article a ramya has a then what is this the quality here nice okay a nice next what is the yes origin so here color is not mentioned but what type of it is silk so write down a nice silk and what is the noun sari so it comes as a nice silk sari have you understood the order of adjectives children now this way you have to follow this table if you keep it in mind first comes the quality then quantity color then material noun that way you have to arrange the position of the adjectives okay so now let us see the noun phrase in a position okay already you have learned the noun phrase what is noun phrase in a position and i told you about how to identify the noun phrases now what is a position a position is a grammatical construction 
in which two elements normally noun phrases are placed side by side so with one element serving to identify the other in a different way the two elements are said to be in a position now look at the following sentences and observe the underlined part in each sentence kamla her eldest daughter a widow got up reluctantly don't you remember vimla district collector nambya's eldest daughter now the underlined part in the above sentences refers to the noun that occurs before it the underlined parts are called noun phrase in apposition so here her eldest daughter a widow is referring to the noun kamla it is the same the same person it is referring to so any nouns like this written in referring to the same noun then those nouns are called noun phrase in apposition okay now let us do the textbook exercise of noun phrase in apposition rewrite the following sentences using noun phrase in apposition so here two sentences are given mahesh is my elder brother he lives in delhi so before we write any two sentences in noun phrase in apposition first of all we have to identify what are the noun phrases in these two sentences so what are the uh, noun phrases in these two sentences mahesh is one noun phrase then my elder brother is another noun phrase okay he is one noun phrase and delhi is another noun phrase so here mahesh my elder brother he delhi these are the noun phrases that we have to identify first then we should group the two identical which are which two noun phrases are identical now in sentence 1 we should see whether those two noun phrases are identical or not now here mahesh in the first sentence mahesh and my elder brother both are noun phrases are they identical yes so because my elder brother is none but the mahesh okay so these two are identical noun phrases and in the next sentence we have he and delhi these two are not identical noun phrases now what we should do whatever the noun phrase is in the pronoun form that we have to remove it remove that noun phrase which is in the pro pro form of pronoun so remove he over here and take the complete sentence lives in delhi okay take as it is and to that we have to add whatever the identical noun phrases we have identified those two we have to add to this sentence for example now here mahesh is already written what is the another identical noun phrase my elder brother that you have to add over here in the dash then it becomes mahesh my elder brother lives in delhi understood children let us look into the next example sarojini naidu is popularly known as the nightingale of india she wrote many poems in english now here what are the first of all we have to identify the noun phrases what are the noun phrases sarojini naidu and the nightingale of india okay then she which is in the pronoun then many poems many poems is one noun phrase then english is another noun phrase okay so here we have sarojini naidu the nightingale of india she many poems english now we have to see in which sentence there are they are the noun phrases are identical so here sarojini naidu the nightingale of india the nightingale of india is who sarojini naidu itself so these two are identical noun phrases okay and which refers to the same person which are identical and referential referential means which refers to the same same noun so sarojini naidu the nightingale of india both are identical noun phrases then the next she wrote many poems in english here we don't find identical noun phrases so take that sentence as a whole after removing the pronoun the pronoun means which is the 
the noun phrase which is in the pronoun form so we have to remove that she and take that sentence as a whole wrote many poems in english so to that we have to add the identical noun phrases what are the identical noun phrases that we have identified in the first sentence sarojini naidu the nightingale of india we have to add it to this sentence okay then we get sarojini naidu the nightingale of india wrote many poems in english understood this way we have to rewrite the sentences using noun phrase in apposition now let us look into the next example rabindranath tagore is called gurudev he was awarded the nobel prize for literature in 1913 now first of all we have to identify the noun phrases what are the noun phrases rabindranath tagore gurudev okay then he then the nobel prize literature because it's a name of a book then 1913 also is one noun noun phrase because it's a name of a year year so here we found rabindranath tagore gurudev he the nobel prize literature and 1913 these are the noun phrases so now what we should do we have to see which are the identical noun phrases which is the identical noun phrases rabindranath tagore gurudev this gurudev is none other but rabindranath tagore these two are identical noun phrases now in the next sentence we have he was awarded the nobel prize in literature here we found out the nobel prize literature 1913 they are not referring uh, referential they are not referring to the same thing nobel prize we can get for any subject for literature is one name of a subject then it is 1913 is name of a year so they are not identical so we whichever in which sentence we don't have identical noun phrases that sentence you have to take it as a whole see was awarded the nobel prize for literature in 1913 after removing the noun phrase which is in the pronoun form so remove that he which is in the noun phrase in the pronoun form and then take that sentence as a whole was awarded the nobel prize for literature in 1913 to that we have to add the which whichever we have grouped rabindranath tagore and gurudev so here rabindranath tagore is already written what should we write in the dash gurudev so the sentence comes as rabindranath tagore gurudev was awarded the nobel prize for literature in 1913 understood children now look at the next one mount everest is the highest peak in the world it is located in nepal now what are the noun phrases here mount everest the highest peak in the world it it is the noun phrase and nepal is another noun phrase okay so here again mount everest the highest peak in the world these two is same the highest peak in the world is nothing but mount everest so these two are identical noun phrases and it is the noun phrase which is in the pronoun form and nepal nepal is another noun phrase so here in this sentence we don't have identical noun phrases to so we will take it as it is e is located in nepal okay to that we have to group the identical noun phrases and add to this sentence so here mount everest is already written what is the another noun phrase the highest peak in the world so we will get it as mount everest the highest peak in the world is located in nepal so have you understood how to rewrite the sentences using noun phrase in apposition children now i hope you can do this assignment very easily so here is an assignment for you rewrite the following sentences using noun phrases in apposition complete all this and then send it to my number to your respected teachers in your group thank you